Welcome to the channel. I don't know why I said that. We never stop videos like that. Yeah, at the the British channel with the dog face as its logo. Um, should I get a new logo? Probably not, because I can't think of anything else to put. Um, anyway, what we are going to be doing on this video is another. It's, it's going to be another AI video, and I hope you're ready for it because it's going to be quite crazy. I'm certainly not ready for this video. Uh, right, so let's open meta.character.ai and let's go to Google Keep so we can return to this video. And also, don't worry about the video being 45 hours long because um, with it just being you know, like a few audio files, it'll be easy. Yeah, it'll only take like 30 odd minutes to process as opposed to 5 hours. So, hey, uh, that's good for you then, matey. Bubble bath! Uh, right, where is it? Oh, here it is. That was easy. He lied. Right! Right, what's first? Kite Sentai Cuddinger. Kite Sentai Cuddinger. Also, well, earlier today I went to Festival Park and I took some photos in the shops. Um, as in, Bargains or home and bargain as I might call it now. Um Panel and Dambi and Bargains. Um however that video won't be coming until tomorrow because I'm going I'm going to go to another home bargains uh, B and bargains tomorrow, so it's gonna be both videos. However I have come more prepared for this video as I as I've written like a list of reminders of comments to Oh okay, I've basically just jinxed the Ah, so it Oh great, so this no longer thinks it's an AI. So that, can we make it think it's an, can can we make it think it's a Sentai? It, it doesn't think it's a Sentai, I think I've I think I've manipulated it into thinking it's not a um right. Um Right Hang on. We have, we have, we have a technical error. Right. Okay, here we go. This actually sounds more like it. Okay, right. So basically, let's just explain what happened there. I've been I've been trying to do some other things, like I've put carries in it. Dot AI versus you. I've put you versus everyone else. I've put me versus you. BBC versus ITV and some other things. Um, and the first bit was it gave me didn't even did made it think I wasn't talking about Super Sentai anymore. So I had to kind of fiddle it around with it to make sure. It's back in its super center, like you know, mo way of mo mode of thinking, and, and, and if that doesn't make any sense. Tough look. I can't think of any other way to describe it. Right, Kaito Sentai Kadinja ha literally has the power of wind and can control literally any wind-based object. The the wind is literally a never-ending force, one that blows around planets, moves entire trees, has the power to throw entire buildings off their foundations. I literally cannot defeat an enemy that has the power to move the air around me. Not to mention the power of wind controls everything that needs wind to function. It is literally one of the most powerful forces in the universe. Can't argue with that at all. Okay, this might get back into gear. Powering response force. This might get this might nudge it into the into the direction where I want it to, you know, the the, the funny direction. It knows what Power Rangers is because it's Americanized. It's gonna know what this is. Much less starting to think now. It got sits got sent like confused. The Power Rangers, they they are the same thing. Oh no! I managed to get back into its um. Okay, I managed to get back into its Sentai mindset. Mindset? It's not a human. <laughs> it, and it's getting super Sentai confused. The Power Rangers. Okay, okay. Have a round of the clap, me. Is it even possible to give yourself a round of applause? Oh, why not? Probably is. Who knows? I'm not a professional. <laughs> Trust me, I'm not a doctor. Right, it's responded to Sponsors Force with this. It says Power Rangers Sponsors Force has the literal power to summon every single Super Sentai ever created. Um, this is literally the greatest army in, in the entire multiverse. That could easily overwhelm any single being in existence. I don't know why I did that, just felt like the right thing to do. If the ranger-like group of superheroes was ever to turn evil... That's cause you're evil! 
Nothing in the multiverse could possibly stop them. The unstoppable force that literally controls the multiverse, no matter how far back they were to look. So basically, it's the legendary war. Legendary war. No, that's the rubbish version. Um, Super Sentai isn't it's, isn't it called Super Sentai? One hundred ninety-nine Great Hero Battle. Who knows? Let's look that term up. Super Sentai one nine nine Great Hero Battle. It's got Go Kaiju on it, and they're probably right, even though I haven't even watched it yet. Oh yeah, oh no, it's the Great Legend War. Oh wait, hang on. No, no, no. I'm so confused. <laughs> right. Right, this is this this is chaotic. Right, can we move on? What's the next thing on this list? Power Rangers Autumn Force. This is based on Autumn Towers. It's basically like Japanese Retro Squad. <laughs> Imagine that. Oh yes, it's my favourite Sentai Ranger ever, Bertie Bot. Is that is that supposed to be a, a, a Harry Potter joke? I don't know. I'm not sure. Hmm. To really know, I need to talk to the person who made those names. Uh, where am I? Autumn Force. Here we go. I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready for this to be generic since it can't. It can't just. Yeah, it can't just. Um. Right, can we get one that's actually? Can we? Can, right. Instead, I'm actually going to force it to try. Instead of just giving me like a generic response, I'm actually going to force it to give it a good go. So there's more than one response option. I'm going to try and get. I'm going to try and force it to work. Uh, give me, give me a, a decent answer. So just, go for a generic answer. Right. Oh god, that means we could be here all flipping week. Oh great. Um. Okay, th I'm, oh, I'm just going to go with this one since it has the term they are so inclined because I, I can do a spot like joke. Right! Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I take back what I said. This, this this is great. This is great. But there he is. Right, so uh, it says the Power Rangers Ultimate Force are an infinite army of powerful armored warriors who can call upon the literal gods of Earth to grant them strengths to help. Okay, side note. All, every single retro squad like potential ride member, you know, because in the episode, in the video, you have to, they've got most different names on the boards. Imagine if they have to, imagine if the park was literally just those rides. Great, it might actually happen. Great. It then goes on to say this infinite scale, this infinitely scaled scaling army of heroes can control literal gods, and therefore can control the entire multiverse if they're so inclined. I'm just inclined, mate. I'm inclined to think you're going a bit nuts. I'm just inclined. Thanks, mates. Right, what else does it say? It says they even have a special ranger called Ranger Black who can summon the Black Sentai Ranger to them fight literally get the body or anything. Okay. Even the great Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Will not even will not be able to stand against this endless amount of power. Right, so not only does it mention Harry Potter, but also it mentions Ranger Black, so RPM Black. Okay. Basically, the Black Sentai Ranger. There's more than one Black Sentai Ranger. There's even one in the Flipper Neck Battle Battle Fever, Battle Kenya, who has ears on his helmet because we all we all know what that means. Um, <laughs> oh, what else is there? Oh God. Oh, Cash Sentai Doshing Jar, money merchandise reference. Cash Sentai. Doshing jar. Right, this, this, this is probably going to stump them. It's going to stump the AI. It's not going to know what it is. Okay. Oh no, oh no, okay. Okay, we've got, we've got, some, we're, we're going somewhere. It says Cash Sentai Doshing jar controls unlimited wealth. This is the ultimate form of power and infinite wealth. That could be, that could buy a thing out of anyone who's greedy enough to fall for the promise of money. Yada, yada, yada. This is quite literally the most. Ultimate power in the, multi in the multiverse, able to bend some of the most powerful beings to your side by, by promising them money. Okay. With this kind of money, Dosh Ranger could buy himself into anyone's service and therefore could get any of the most powerful forces in the multiverse working for him. This just sounds like a Kiba Ranger. Have a round of a clap. There, that's all you get. Right. Rider Sentai Kamenger. It's not going to know what this is because. You know, common rider. Common, yeah. 
before you ask me, no, I will not. I will not be trying this with Cabin and Eames unless I really feel like it, which I don't think I will. Oh. Okay, this is just okay. Bit of a spoiler. I'm gonna have to put. A, I'm gonna have to say the word spoiler over and over again because this kind of is like a bit of a spoiler for King of the episode one. In, in case you don't really know, but spoiler, 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 spoiler alert. Spoilers. Spoilers coming up. If you don't want spoilers, just close your ears or something. Turn your volume off. Um, spoilers coming up for King OJ Episode 1, right? Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Right. Have you got the message? Perfect. And basically, it says here, it says here, get ready for this, it says the rider sent on a Kamara okay, can control the entire content of heroes and villains. The entire idea of what it means to be good and what it means to be evil is literally controlled by the rights into Kamara. Kamara. Ara, ara. So before I carry on, no more comments, please. Especially not on Kamara. Um, basically, this is basically uh, the the concept of um, the uh, king of uh, where Kugata Alja lives. Um, apparently, his idea of justice is by is by letting the Eviltons and is by even by evil letting the Evilton Bugnarok group invade his kingdom. So he so that justifies the other he and him the king invaded other kingdoms. But no, the bloke who um, stands up to him, the the bloke who as is is branded uh, by brand, brand, who who the other guys branded him as evil. The evil guy is the good guy, and the and, and the so-called evil guy goes on to become Red Ranger, Kugata Ulja. So that's basically what I'm trying to say here. Spoilers over. Oh god, that's probably really long. That's probably probably really loud. Spoilers over. <laughs> there, that was funny. Yeah. Have a have a nice job. <laughs> right, right. So with the spoilers over, we can carry on reading this. It goes. Then, it then goes on to say, if this power is ever used by somebody evil. It would quite literally be able to turn everyone into villains and destroy the very concept of what it means to be he heroic of good at its core. The impact of this power is almost immeasurable. Then don't measure it with, with a tape measure then. Excuse me. Power Rangers Mentality Force is the next one. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking, I think I was thinking of Street Fighter, but it's men mentality, not fatality. Fatality, fatality, fatality. Rabbit. Tank. <laughs> oh, Rangers. Mental. See, how we respond to mentality the correct way? Force. It's gonna probably have a kind of mental power attached. Whatever. Let's just carry on regardless. It says the Power Rangers Mentality Force are able to control literally every single emotion I ever felt. This is literally the ability to bring an individual, in, individual down to their knees if they wanted someone to be sad. They could simply make them sad. If they wanted someone to be happy, they could turn everybody into, into the happiest person in the multiverse. If they wanted to make someone to be angry and violent, they could make them into the most possessed human on earth. Not it that, not that it'd be useful to the Power Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, own goal, said. <laughs> it then says, this is quite literally too much power for any mortal mind to handle. So, if they wanted to control someone's mind, then it will be for own goals and not to actually achieve something. <laughs> also, I'm actually halfway through watching Zyuden Sentai Kyoriuja. Zyuden Sentai Kyoriuja. Zyuden Sentai Kyoriuja. And this kind of reminds me of how the uh, Debo monsters work. Because, uh, you know, they've got these white faces on that depict what emotion they try to get the human race to, to, to achieve. And guess what parents just did? Well, they did a good job at Dino Charge, but they actually forgot to include the, you know, you know it doesn't matter, they probably couldn't, inter they probably couldn't integrate it, but, but they didn't explain it, so... Right, what's next? Funny Sentai Meme Ranger, right, this is good, it's gonna ask for it, because it, it, earlier, if you remember, um, this robot said that I'm, that I was memeing, I think it said it like twice, three times, two videos ago. So now I'm going to take the mick out of it, and actually make a Sentai called Funny Sentai Meme Rangers, so let's do it. 
mean ranger. Take this, mate. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually doing this. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's still loading. Okay, it says, The funny Sentai meme rangers have the literal ability to control the internet through the power of memes. If they wanted to take over the internet, they literally could. They control every single thing that was put on the internet. And so the internet is quite literally under their control at the very fingertips. They could use, they could cause all kinds of memes to be spread across the internet, controlling literally millions of people with nothing but some simple internet memes. And this would all be at their command. Basically, this is trying to say that this is this, this is trying to say that this team can make everyone into this into CBBC. Isn't that right, Chris Johnson? Oh wait, he's not here, is he? Nah! Um, great. Mm. That's a really rubbish reference. Um, anyway, internet-based Sentai. I said the last one we got was Technology Mega Rangers, so. An internet sometimes a shout, I think. We could be seeing one of them. They could make their gimmick. Oh, I don't know. Oh, God. I didn't mean to whack the desk. They could make their, um. Collectible gimmick. Oh, I don't know. Beams. <laughs> no, actually, don't do that because that'd be rubbish. That's not the kind of thing they do in America. Um, speaking of America, Hasbro Sentai has Inja as the next one. God. If you know what Super Zig is, it's probably going to do what Hasbro is. Has Inja. Alright, just gonna know what Hasbro is, trust me, because Hasbro is so big and worldwide popular. And they make a gun that doesn't transform much, all it does is shoot nerf darts and everything's funny and plasticky. So it knows what Hasbro is, okay. It says Hasbro said Titan controls every single toy in existence. They can summon any toy that has ever been made or ever will be made and can call them to their service at any point in existence. If Hasinger ever does like the come after our universe, there would literally be no hope. We would be com uh, complete everyone within minutes. Even some of the greatest gods that have ever existed would pale in comparison to the literal, <laughs> literal power of the hand. I had things that literally altered the power of the hand. What you're trying to say here is that they could summon Super Zings from the year 2040 if they're still being made by them, which is a massive, massive possibility. They could summon Super Zings from the year 2040 if they wanted to. <laughs> or, markedly, Super Zings from, I don't know, 2025. 2024? Hmm. <laughs> They could summon, I don't know, the, um, I don't know, the sixth generation Neon Blast if they wanted to, not Neon Blast. They could summon the uh, sixth generation Kikazoo if they wanted to, you know, the one that would come with, I don't know, the great big giant, the great big giant blue cat that he rides. <laughs> <laughs> Why does that sound like a thing they'd actually do? Yeah, I bet Kid Fury's a really cool dog. <laughs> Don't make it as dark as Trigger Race. Do not, um, do not make it so you have to drill his brains out and control his mind by making him a vehicle. Don't, do not transform animals to vehicles. It isn't worth it, guys. Moose, go take a break. Okay, Power Rangers Time League. This is probably going to come up with a uh, Power Rangers Time Force related thing. Let's say we're trying it anyway. <sighs> ah, excuse me. Right, it says here, Power Rangers Time League literally controls every single concept that has ever existed, past, present and future. They could literally control the flow of time so that a second could last a thousand million years, or a thousand million years could last a single second. They could make their enemies literally never age, or age so that they turn to dust within a single minute of entering battle. With, with this power, their enemies could be wiped out within a literal infinite existence. Without, without even ever knowing that their deaths were happening. Okay. Okay, fair point. Have a round of a clap. That actually does sound like a thing they do, but how do you, how, how do you make that work? But, but that, that's my question for you, WWW. Who would win? Hang on. Who would win dot, super things, dot, complete, um, overridden, Mozzable, there. There. That's not, that, that's a thing for you to consider. JQ Center at Kakaku Jar is the next one. It's not gonna know what this is, but, uh, but for. Um, but for a quick. Um, look, I've been friendly, so I think JQ Center at Kakaku Jar stands for Time Squadron X Science Ranger, so I think. 
Science uh, I think I'm not sure. I think that's the way it translates to it anyway. Right, it says here Kagakuja is an incredible in, incredibly in, intellect ge, intelligent genius of every single scientific fact memorized. It is the ultimate bringer of the multiverse. Kagakuja could easily invent a weapon that could wipe out literally anyone using pure logic and knowledge alone. If Kaku if Kagakuja ever truly wanted to take over the multiverse, there would be nothing to stop him. He could easily invent any weapon or use any sort of a science that 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 he could possibly need to destroy all of time and space. So it knows what it means, so well done you. Also, Ultimate Brain <sighs> Is that show even on YouTube? Let's check. I don't think it is, but I used to watch it all the time. Oh it is! Oh, Oh, it is. Oh, 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 oh. I don't recall seeing, that, seeing, seeing this on YouTube. Who's the bloke guy? Who's the gorilla bloke played by? That's, I actually really want to know that now. Blimey, this, I think this show is still lost, unless there was only two seasons made. If I go to the page here, yeah, I can check. Uh, 972. I think there's still some episodes that still need to be found. But hey, I'm gonna watch an episode later. Oh, don't. Oh, no. I think I've just figured out the. Um, I'll just think of, I just think. I think I've just figured out the. Weak point of this show, and that weak point of that show is, is I think, all episodes of every single series were done with people on people on BBC. Tough look, tough look, mateys. I'm watching the uh, one with um, oh god, the um, ultimate brain bloke. Okay, right. Only 21 minutes so far. Feels like I've been doing this for longer, trust me. Right, what's next on the list? Edit sent on. Oh, oh, these are the last ones! For my own names. Well, some of my own names at least. Half of the names were officially like a quarter of the way through the name list. Editing sent I testing jar. Let's test this. Hurt them! Any time I, I say the word test now, there's got, there's got to be a funny sound effect. That, that's who. It says here, testing judgment can literally erase you from any media in the multiverse. Imagine how I could imagine how scary it would be to find yourself being wiped from all time and space itself. You would no longer exist, and nobody would remember you. How scary must it be to realise that you're about to be erased completely, and there's nothing you can do about it? Okay, but that sounds like a thing you'd give a villain group. <laughs> but what else do we have? Okay, the uh, last thing. On this my own list, Power Rangers Lazy Force, which is a play on Super Mega Force's editing, which is just taking jabs at them for keeping shots of Sentai in, you know, because there's certain parts. Because, for example, there's a bit in um, an episode where the episode in Go Kaiju where they do the uh, Turbo Car Ranger joke I talked about a few videos ago, might, might even be last video, I can't remember. Well, that's, that's the uh, chair. Um, they actually left because there's a shot of Go Kaiju Green holding a black. The black turbo key, and they kept that shot in, even though he changed to a Green Ranger. So great, just look it up on Ranger Wiki and everything, or check it up on Green Ranger, Green Ranger dot com if you if you want. Huh. Right, so oh, he can make this powerful. Great, it says the Power Rangers, the Power Rangers Lazy Force is a force of pure laziness. They can literally slow down anything. If they wanted to, they could slow down the speed of light itself, stop the flow of time completely. They could literally render their enemies completely motionless and be capable of doing any, uh, literally anything that, any, anything they want. Even Harry Potter would be powerless against the ultimate of this group of Power Rangers. I suspect Harry Potter might pop up a, a lot in these things here. Whatever, do what you want. Right, now for my... Uh, oh, actually, no, we've got these names to go see uh, next. Power Rangers Night Sleekers. These ones are slightly more professional sounding because they 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 were they only a few of them were done in a way where you know for parody reasons. But they these ones were done in like a more of like a AI. You know you, you know you don't want to use the AI to see what it says because I'm actually really curious to what it says for some of these. 
Right, it responded with this. Power Rangers Night Seekers glitch could control the night time and therefore control darkness itself. They literally control the entire world of darkness and therefore can literally control anything that happens at night. They have the entire might of the, of the night world at their command. They could easily bring any enemies to their knees with nothing but pure darkness. Shadow line much. I'm just waiting for it to load. Okay, here we go. Quite literally nothing other than this universe could ever hope to stand up to the night, might of the Night Seekers. They could take down anything they, they wanted to with extreme prejudice. I have not seen that word right. I don't think I am. Anyway, what, next up is Power Rangers Stalkers. Great. Can't wait if I can't believe I'm actually playing this Power Rangers Stalkers. It's not all Stalkers. I can't believe I'm going this. And the funny note I've put here is the good slash bad guys who get confused easily. I've always wanted that in my life. Brilliant. Right. The Power Rangers Stalker. Okay, here we go. A Power Rangers Stalker Force can literally control every single aspect of life. Just think about it. They, if they ever wished, they could they could decide that they only wanted only death and destruction across the multiverse, and they could literally not be nothing to stop them. They could even delete life itself and cause the destruction of the entire multiverse with nothing but a single thought. The Power Rangers Stalker Force literally holds all of existence in the palm of their hand. Hands in the palm of their hands. Shouldn't it be plural. They are unbelievably powerful. How to make the the, the, the bad guys in the good guys into the bad, into the bad guys? Mind you, that's that, that's the exact thing. That's the exact thing. Put that's the exact same thing I put at the start. <coughs> right. Next up is called Power Rangers Toxins with a Z. Right. Bit of a weird name, but hey, it's like it's from the nineties. He lied. With those um. Weird things. Um, I forgot what they're called. Oh, great. Well, uh, you know the ones out there that they have to ban in schools because they're toxic and everything. Uh, I want to kiss that. Boom. <laughs> right, here we go. It says the Power Rangers toxins can literally summon the plague of poison upon the universe. This is a perfect counter to literally any being that ever existed in the, in the, in the multiverse. They could cause literal. literal. literally. literal. deaths of billions at the snap of their fingers. Attack! Causing all sorts of horrific illnesses, viruses, and every single conceivable type of plague. Growing ability like this, the Power Rangers toxins could easily become the most powerful force ever known, controlling the fate of the entire multiverse. But I, but the only plague I know, right, is purple, and it comes in a big car. It's at the top of a giant ladder in, in a show called Splat a Lot. <laughs> oh, rubbish reference joke out of the way, right? Next up is Power Rangers Ultraverse, which is a really weird name. Sounds like a thing from. Actually, no, that sounds like a thing they come up with. Ultraverse. So now, think about it, it sounds like a thing Lego would come out with, actually. <laughs> it says here the, power, the parent is Ultraverse. This just controls every single possible alternate timeline, and this means that they can travel back in time and alter the course of history in whichever way they choose. And this is literal reality warping, as that they could alter every aspect of reality and control every single event in history. I am sure that this team of Power Rangers has literally changed the course of history dozens upon dozens of times. What What is it this guy making every word longer than it ever needed to be? Yeah, nothing else I can say to this one, except Time Ranger-like abilities, except not really, because Time Rangers... All the Time Rangers can do is slow down and speed up. <laughs> How funny. Power Rangers Julians. That sounds like a, that actually sounds like a thing they do for the adaptation of Kira Major. Don't go there. They'll just mock the change up. The, they'll just mock the core Rangers change up because there's no collectible gimmick. They'll, they'll probably modify it to make it to put a big hole in the side for some guy on key or something. Uh, great. Oh my no. Okay. The next one actually makes the the one after this one makes some sort some sort of sense. But anyway. It says, the Power Rangers Julians control literally every single precious gemstone that ever existed. They could wipe out entire economies, government with their power, and could destroy cities through the sheer power of love alone. I'm sure that every single emperor, king, or warrior from before this time of written history has beaten themselves against these mighty warriors who, ha who can control every various essence of treasures and wealth. Basically, Kira Major, but made up. <laughs> right, and the one I was talking about, the, the one that makes common sense, is Power Rangers 
constructors since you know Bull Kenja had like constructor vehicles. We, ha we haven't really gotten a proper constructor scheme Sentai yet. To make it happen, Toei. Right, it says the Power Rangers constructors are masters of engineering, able to literally create anything that they can imagine. This is literal god level crafting skill. They could build perfect starships, ultimate weapons, and can even build entire planets to their own specifications. This is literally infinite power as the built uh, as this ability to be a perfect engineer, which is quite literally the greatest power imaginable. Uh, what? And the sure Are you a Star Trek fan? Good. Moving on then. Uh, right, next up is Power Rangers Global League. Oh god. I shouldn't be saying that, I should be saying that for Power Rangers XXX all from Google. But help us spell it the right way. <laughs> The next one doesn't make any sense either. Oh, hey, um, oh no. Just like this show up. Oh, uh, oh, no, quite, 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 uh, we've still got a long ways to go. We'll, we'll probably get there, me seeing as we're coming out. Oh no, we're coming out in the same minutes. Oh no, um, ooh. You know, let's, let's just screw it, let's still keep going. Let's just keep going. Pirate is Global League. The Pirates Global League control every single thing that ever happened on the entire Earth's surface, as they can control literally, literal geography to their liking. This is quite li literally total control over the entire planet, allows them to change the very geography itself to suit whatever their needs or desires are. They could even change the entire countries to help them with their own calls. Or create new countries out of nothing. No being on Earth could help to stand against this kind of power, so King Oja basically. Well done. Power Rangers Sky Streamers. This doesn't make any sense either. Power Rangers Sky Streamers. Wow. Um. Rangers Sky. Let's just go for it. Who knows where it come up with? Who knows? Uh, the Power Rangers Sky Streamers quite literally control every single cloud in the sky. These clouds could even be controlled to block out the sunlight, causing permanent darkness around the entire world. Or they could be moved to pour rain anywhere they want or cause hurricanes with this type of control over the weather. The entire world would be forced to bow to the will of the sky streamers or quite literally be crushed under a rainstorm that lasts for the rest of time. I should have called this team Power Rangers Weathermans! <laughs> imagine, this in, imagine this in real life. Oh look, uh, the BBC um, news groups just suddenly become blokes that fight evil beavletons. <laughs> no. Power Rangers Hyper Copy. Let's see what this comes up with. Power Rangers Hyper Copy. Go for it. Okay. This is going insane now. Space and Dave, that's great. That's, that's the, uh, not the next one, but the one after that. The Power Rangers Hyper Copy are the ultimate duplication force, able to make infinite copies of themselves to do whatever they want. This is quite literally the perfect way to overwhelm any enemy as they can quite literally multiply infinitely to swap any enemy they want. They could like literally bury a city under their literal weight or create enough mass to cause literal earthquakes that literally tear holes in the terrain. Can't argue that. Then we've got Power Rangers Legend Wingers, which is supposed to be a ripoff of Ghost Sager. Right. Next up is, and what after this is, is, is um, Space and Davis, Parents, Jim Corpse, Core. Is it Core? Mm. It says the Legend Wingers literally control every single le legendary character of all time. This is quite literally the entire pa the power to summon any being oh, of myths, literally, or of history to do your bidding. We could control legend, the, the, the legendary King Arthur, or even God, God himself, and cause the universe to bow down to their every. Him. <laughs> I cannot even begin to imagine how insanely powerful this team of Power Rangers is. The, the Legend of King Arthur? Can you control a blue sword? Great! Ugh. Oh, rubbish. Can't be the same joke out the way. Power Rangers Doom Core. Got to spell Corps the right way. Core. Hmm. I'm confused. I'm not. I'm going to... Oh, right, it says that the Doom Core, or the literal opposite of all that, is holy, good, and pure. Mm -hmm. They are quite literally the 
the embodiment of evil and can cause the universe to become as evil as they are in order to bring about evil in every corner of creation they could easily cause literally forces the, 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 the literal forces of heaven to themselves to be to become corrupted and fall they could quite literally bring about the end of existence itself of their evil so great that even heaven could not withstand with with their withstand them quickly go sager versus these blokes basically and then we've got Paranger's just double league which is a really weird name actually because So, uh, yeah, this is going to have to be the end bit for all oh, the um, switch was on the wrong thing. So, don't, don't know if you could hear that, but, um, oh, apparently. Oh. Oh, should I start using this setting more? It seems to uh, cut out the uh, background noise, namely the uh, computer. Is that what this pop filter's for? Hmm. I literally do not know. I'm holding it closer to the, uh... Yeah, th this is officially just become an audio experiment test, but I'm going to keep it on this setting for now. Um, I mean, I mean, if you, in case you're wondering, this is a Wavo pod. There's a button, there's two buttons, the uh, button button, the light, the blue light's currently on the right side, and if I press this button... It does this. Yeah, it's handy for silencing everyone is in the same room as you, which is handy if you are using it in a busy office or in a BBC recording studio. Anyway, back to this. This, this, this is going to be the last bit, uh, but I can't really fit anything else in, so it's just going to be it. Right, the response of Power Rangers Double Eager is Double Eager, if a, the, with the A capitalised. Is the literal embodiment of pure aggression and violence. Anyone that ever dared to cross them could fall victim to their power and quite literally be crushed under, under the unstoppable force that is their aggression. This has literal ability. This has the literal ability to crush entire galaxies into dust with unre unrelenting radio double eager. Double argue. They will not. They would not stop until their enemy is literally torn to ribbons. Anyone who gets in the way would meet the same brutal fate. That is a bit grisly tales for gruesome kids. Don't worry, your technology isn't working. Well, it is working, is what I'm trying to say. You don't worry, the, your technology is working. It's just me screwing with you. <laughs> full full breakages. I got no it should be full full breakage. <laughs> oh, wait, I've just closed the thing. I was trying to end up on, on the uh <laughs> out joke, but now I just made it awkward. Bye!